just quickly before the video starts next week there will be a giveaway on my instagram where you can win over 100 euro on amazon due to my new release next week so if you want to win step by and good luck What's up guys, my name is Kilian K and welcome back on my YouTube channel. I know it's been a fucking long time, I think about seven months or something, but uh, yeah, a lot of stuff been happening and maybe you know, maybe you don't, but uh, we're gonna talk about that in the next videos. I'm just gonna jump right into the video right now because uh, I was watching some YouTube tutorials about how, about how to make slap house. I know everyone does it from us. All of the tutorials sucked pretty hard. <laughs> So that's why I thought we got just gonna explain my latest track with Lani because um, yeah the last tracks got quite a big amount of streams to be honest I was really surprised about that so thank you so much for the support if you didn't listen to it you know what to do click in the description and stuff yeah this is my latest release Broken Angel it's a cover I mean uh, <laughs> who does covers in 2020 I don't know probably everyone but we decided to make a cover of a song which is not that known actually I don't even know the real name of the real song I think it's actually Broken Angel uh, probably it's Broken Angel I have no idea but um, yeah we're just gonna go briefly over the track um, if you have some questions leave them down in the comments and I'm not just gonna explain everything in detail I'm just gonna go over it really briefly and give you an idea on how to sound clean I guess you heard the original you heard the final result so I hope you'll like it and now we're just gonna jump right into the project oh man it's so weird to talk about the project stuff forgive me if I fail at explaining but I will try my best so we start with the standard oh I have to um, turn off the master I know everyone says like okay the master is not as important but in my tracks the master is actually a fucking lifesaver without the master it sounds like shit so but I'm gonna turn it off to save CPU obviously so um okay we're just gonna start with the intro so i'm who would have guessed uh, with an respace like every song does in 2020 what the fuck and the respace consists just of two layers we have this layer serum a sub base and then we have my main saw base so it's nothing special also the processing on them is probably just a camera crusher ott distortion and a kickstart um, then we have these bells. Which actually comes from Omnisphere. I'm not gonna open the plugin right now because sometimes, ah, you know, my, my PC dies when I open Omnisphere because of the fucking huge CPO load. But uh, yeah, I actually love them. They give some acoustic vibes, I guess. So um, yeah, I've just put them in with the respace. To give like this darker mood, I guess. Then we have the vocal, of which the singer actually is Yule, like the last tracks of mine. I don't know if you didn't listen to my Spotify release Faded and Coming Home, which got quite over millions of streams. So I was really surprised about that. And then, um, yeah, we decided to make another cover. So this is not the vocal project, but I actually, this is the vocal. I'm so lonely, broken angel. I'm so lonely. I already took the best takes out of it, of course. So Yulu is gonna hate me for this, but I'm just gonna turn off every effect, every auto tune and stuff. So this is actually the main vocal. I'm so lonely, listen to my heart, but a lonely... So as you can see, there's so many effects on it. I don't want to talk about everything in detail, but we're just gonna turn off the first one. So we have a stereo uh, a compressor, of course, some auto tune, some um, little bit of distortion drive, some de compressor. Actually, this is my favorite compressor and vocal, so get it if you want. Uh, we have some EQ, we have some DS again. Oh yeah, the CLA vocal plugin, which is actually compressing again and uh, doing a slap delay. We have some EQ and another EQ. Oh, you can see this one. Then the whole vocal goes into another chain, uh, another bus, where we have more effects. So right now it sounds like this. I'm so lonely, broken. On this bus, we have an OTT. Well, oh, this is a reverb. I don't know. I don't, I don't think we use that. We have an endless smile, a kickstart for the drop, and then just some automations. Then we have the vocal going into the reverb, which is a uh, well, hella vintage rub, I love it. I'm so lonely, broken. The same goes to the delay. So we have our Echo Boy here, and the Echo Boy is going back to the reverb. If you can see it down here, so it's a little complicated, but it's to give the Echo like a nice ending, I guess. <laughs> I'm so lonely, broken angel. 
So then we have the chorus just to fake like these doublers and stuff. I'm so lonely, broken angel. And then we have a new slap delay, I guess. I'm so lonely, broken angel. And together we get the normal vocal and it sounds like this. I'm so lonely, broken angel. I'm so, so we have just some normal snaps down here, some XORs, some cashmere, you know. I just use cashmere symbols. I actually stopped with that in the next project, which I may show you. I don't know. Just tell me in the comments if I should start making videos again. So we have some hi-hats again. Just some effects and stuff. And that's actually everything for the introduction. So the main part is actually just the vocal and these ones here. Oh yeah, of course, I didn't mention that, but these fuckers <laughs> get um, cut off. To make room for the vocal, obviously. Then we have the second part of the break, which is actually just the same as the first one, just that there's a kick and some snares. Oh, that's actually wrong, there's no kick. Yeah, we just have these trap snares here. Then the kick is coming in here. So now the most asked thing is how to make the fill and I actually did the fill by myself and you can do it too if you want. This fill here is actually just a kick and then triple it. So you make like go down up here and make the one third beat and you can like put them down like this. Then I have some extra drum folds on top of it and I automated like yeah a high cut and a low cut just going to both sides and then combined with a sweep. That's actually the fill. That's how you do it. So now you know it. Now you can copy everyone else like I do. So let's go. <laughs> so in the drop, so we have the main vocal. Then we have this dark vocal. And this one. So actually this is just some harmonics I did. I think I just did it with a little altar boy here. So we have just a form and shift to like make the vocal wider and the frequency spectrum, I guess. Um, so together the vocal suddenly is a little bit huge. I'm so lonely, broken angel. Instead of this. So, lonely, so then we have some vocal reverses. I'm so lonely, broken angel. Then we just have some basic kicks here. We can just turn on the... Oh yeah, of course we have this. The offbeat kick. Uh, we can just turn on the vocals again. I'm so lonely, we have some effect. I'm so the white noise. I'm so and then we have the bass, which sounds like this. And the bass actually consists of many layers. So the most important layer is actually this one here. So I'm just going to mute this and it sounds like this. I mean, it's just, you, you can hear it here. It's a sub bass, a sub bass high. Then we have this dirty bass shot, which actually is one of my basses, which is really nice. And then we have a mid bass. I did myself, I think, and uh, it's actually the main bass sound, so that's pretty nice. We have a silent here, I have no idea what this does, nothing. And we have some white noise, and some high clicky thingy. And then the most important thing actually on the basses nowadays is uh, some perks, and it sounds like this. And this is actually the most important thing to make your bass clean. So if you if you're doing slap house, please do this and just copy the notes over to perk. Find out the key and then just play one key with perks. Without the perks. And with. So much cleaner. So together we have actually the first part of the drop, which sounds like this. I'm so So then we have a second fill, which actually, actually just the triplets again with like a with, with a sweep up and some toms. And then we have right noise basic stuff. And the only thing which is added is like these hats, uh, these claps. So then we have some sweep ups. And here we have the introduction chords, but not the chords, just the melody.
Which place on top of everything, I guess. We have some hi-hats. Oh, that's wrong. We have some offbeat hi-hats. And we have a shaker. And the shaker um, gets panned right and left. With, with uh, this plugin here. And also the vocal up here gets changed in the formant. Uh, the only thing I actually did is take, uh, I took the vocal and formant shifted it 12 semitones. I don't know how to show it. Uh, we have it here. Oh no, five. I changed it from this to five. And that's why it sounds uh, different, but it's still in the same key. Also, the trap snare is coming back again. Now, my favorite part of the track actually is um, is the, this cello. So this cello is actually Serum is from Cashmere's and whatever library. I think it's called Symphony. Yeah, the Symphony library, which is emulating some real instruments. And it's I think it sounds so nice. Like processing wise, I have just some EQ actually here and some reverb and an OTT. So that's not much actually. Then I automated the volume here to make it a little bit realistic, like with the auto automation. And with. That's nice. And on top of that, we have the vocals, which is uh, which are like um, cut off. Then we have these inter chords, but they're cut off too. Then we have this clock. And that's it actually. And here, the introduction bass is coming in. With the kick, so the kick is down here. Going in the build up again. And then the drop is actually 100% the same. The only thing I changed was this here. So this is a drop before. Okay? And this is it now. So this is the only thing I added in the second drop. <laughs> I know, it's fantastic. Of course, the, the cello. The cello continues in the drop. <laughs> also in the drop, I made the notes light a little bit more. So I have this bass in here. And on first it was like this. And now it's like this. So yeah, that's actually everything about the track. I hope it was helpful and I really have to like uh, come into this YouTube game again with talking English and stuff and like explaining what I do. It's not so easy as it looks, but um, if you have some questions about slappers or in general how to make these bases or how I make my last tracks, I mean, you can listen to Faded or Coming Home. They both have over 2 million streams right now. If you want to ha have some tips and tricks or something I did or whatever, if you want to know something, just write it down in the comments. I will answer it 100%. And if you have some demos, you can just leave them on Instagram as well. Yeah, that's actually it. So this is how you make slappers probably. So don't <laughs> watch the, these bad tutorials on YouTube. Like the most important thing actually on, on Slap House is the bass. And in the bass, the most most important thing is uh, these top perks I showed you, uh, which makes the bass sound much cleaner. And of course, like not do, don't do, do too much and stuff. So yeah, I hope it was helpful. Leave a like if you, if you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. And bye. I'm so lonely,